I mean, you could, you don't necessarily know what you're going to pick to be your pre-intro. Like, you know, your little snidbit yeah. before the intro. Yeah, snidbit. You don't know what's going to be. That's not a word. <laughs> snidbit. I don't, think, I don't think snidbit is a thing. It's going to be now. I think we just picked the little snidbit for the intro. <laughs> no, intro time! Alright, we're about to go on a road trip to get some airsoft pews. It's going to take a while, so I'll just see you when we get there. Okay, now we're here. Now I gotta get everything loaded in. Be right back. That's a lot of stuff. Now we gotta drive all the way back. Now that I got everything inside, I'm going to go through everything that we just picked up from this auction. But first, I want to say thank you to the Hop Up app. If you don't know what that is, it's a buy, sell, trade, airsoft app. And I did an unboxing of a mystery box that I purchased on their app. Now, I'm not sponsored by them. I wasn't then. I'm not now. But they thought it was so cool that I included them in a video. They sent me a t-shirt and some stickers and a note. Dropping stickers everywhere. And the note says, thank you so much for including us in one of your YouTube videos. Your videos are a great contribution to the Airsoft community. And that is from Colby, the founder of Hop Up. Ooh. Ooh. Well, thank you, Colby, for making a cool app that I could purchase a mystery box on and unbox it on my YouTube videos. The stickers are awesome. I don't think I'll be able to get them on the wall, but I'll find a cool place to stick them eventually. So bad at stickers, I can't commit. I'm gonna definitely have to buy another mystery box on Hop Up. Now, that doesn't mean go putting all your mystery boxes on Hop Up, because you never know when I'm actually going to buy it. Sell a mystery box to some random guy that's not gonna open it on video. Nothing wrong with that, but it's just not gonna be me. Anyway, go check out the Hop Up app if you have any airsoft gear, airsoft guns, stuff like that that you wanna buy, sell, or trade. Speaking of stickers, I got this envelope sent to my P.O. Box. P.O. Box is in the description. If you want to send me something, I'll probably open it up on video because that's awesome of you. And it says on it, warning, sexiness inside. And it is from Mystery Airsoft. Now, if you haven't checked out his channel, please go do it. He unboxes a lot of mystery boxes just like I do. He's got a cool looking big beard thing and glasses. He, he's a mystery. And what did he send me? Well, that's a mystery too. A Nicolas Cage banana sticker. So it says, sorry you didn't get a Nicolas Cage picture in your Airsoft Tulsa box. Hopefully this helps. Mystery Airsoft. What? Yes, it helps. This is the best Nicolas Cage picture that I've gotten to date. I don't know how he got Nicolas Cage in a banana. I asked him and he said he's not revealing his secrets because he's Mystery Airsoft. But I gotta stick it to something. I'm gonna find some stuff to put all these stickers on. So thank you, Mystery Airsoft. Everybody go check out his channel. It's really good. I subscribe, I watch, I comment. So go over there and do the same. And if you have anything you wanna send, you know where to find it in the description, P.O. Box. Doesn't have to be a sticker. It could just be a hello letter. Say hello, how are you? And I will say fine right here. Now let's get into the boxes of stuff that I just got on a road trip to Virginia. <laughs> So this is the first box. Some of you follow my Instagram. You saw that I had a whole bunch of stuff that I got from a local auction. It was an online auction. You bid on stuff and then you have to pick it up in person. There's no shipping. My cousin Dominic, big shout out to you, he sent me the link and was like, have you heard of this? No. And I clicked on it and a guy was selling a ton of BB guns. And I was like, okay, well I don't do BB guns, but mixed in with the BB guns were some super serious, old school, rare, airsoft stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm hooked. So what I did was I went through and bid on like everything. Ooh, and then Alexis found out and was like, you bid on everything. So I had to 
pick and choose some of the things that I kept bidding on after I got outbid. I did win about 21 or 22 of the auctions out of like 45 airsoft auctions. And I like to think I got the best of the stuff. First, we have this big box. Everything in this box was one auction. This box was like, I think $70. And remember, no shipping, because I had to drive to pick it up. So first, there's this big box, and it's a scope box. And you think like, oh cool, a scope. But that's not what's inside. What is inside is a whole bunch of hand grips for BB guns. It says on it, original grips for 1740 custom. These are all BB guns. The guy who owned this collection had a ton of actual BB guns, not airsoft. BB gun parts, it looks like scope mount or something. Now, I don't have BB guns. I have like one. So I don't know what I would do with any of this, so I'll probably sell this. Probably gonna list this stuff on eBay or something. I have no clue what to do with any of that. And then there's another one here. It's actually a scope. This is a 4x32. There's no name brand on it. The mounts on it are for the smaller pellet rifle rails. Two scope mounts for pellet rifles. Here's a scope box. What is inside? Scope. Now this one has pellet rifle mounts also, and it is labeled something TF. So the brand is TF. It's another 4x32. Now I could easily swap these mounts and get 14 millimeter mounts and put them on an airsoft sniper. A backyard pellet trap target system with 100 targets. Now I think in my hop up video, the mystery box I got from hop up, the guy included a hundred targets for this setup. I am pretty sure. I'm going to have to go back and check. Air gun paper targets by Monarch. I don't have the, the thing it goes in, but targets are always good to shoot. So that's probably for this. Now I can target shoot maybe against the Lexus. We'll see who's better. And then we're getting into the ammo. There is a ton of ammo in this box. So this is some copperhead pellets. These are not airsoft. Crossman, Umarex. These are all steel BBs. These are not for airsoft, but like I said, I have a BB gun. Here's some Daisy ammo. Now this guy was a serious collector. He had a lot of BBs. These are called Dust Devil BBs. It says they're 10% faster. I don't know how that works. This is a speed loader for BB guns. I've never seen one, like a speed loader for the tiny BBs. <laughs> There's a mag to some pellet gun that I don't have. These are weird. I've never seen this before. It says Government Cal 45 ACP for MGC model guns. They are little fake bullets. Ah. They're solid bullets with little reservoirs in the top. I don't know what this could be for. Maybe a, like a black powder. I'm just going to put them all back. I think there's six. And there's a ton more pellets. The 177 pellets. Here we go. More of them. Scope mounts for, like I said, 14 millimeter. I could put these on those scopes right now and be good to go. Three regular speed loaders. Got an airsoft M4 high cap. UTG combat foregrip. Screw it onto a rail. This is pretty tough. Durable, rubberized. It's got a little storage compartment underneath. And now there's a bunch of ammo. Here's half a bottle, 0.2 from Elite Force. Half a bottle of 0.28 from Elite Force. Almost a full bottle of Crossman .25. This is half a bottle of the KSC Perfect .2s. Now back in the day when I started, this is what everyone used. KSC Perfects in the .2, maybe .23. But we didn't have all the crazy .32s and stuff back then. And here's another random bottle of Black BBs. It's just labeled .25 and permanent marker. This is crazy. This is a huge bag of these steel six millimeter BBs. I don't think I would use these. These look a little too serious. I don't know the weight. It's very heavy and I don't know what I would use this for. Maybe a sniper round, but only for target practice. I wouldn't use this in a game. So that is the first box. This whole box was like $70. I think it was worth it. We got two scopes, targets, a whole bunch of little miscellaneous things, M4 mag. We got some speed loaders, some pellets. I'm not gonna use the pellets, but we got BBs. Okay, now for box number two. Now in this box, I got two of these pistol cases. They were not included in this box. What was included in this box here is, ugh, this was listed as 150 CO2 cartridges. And I actually went through and counted. There are 170 CO2 cartridges. They are mostly Crossman. One package of Umarex. A whole bunch of CO2. I really prefer CO2 pistols. And this entire box was about $75. So I got 170 CO2s for $75. To me, that was a good deal. And now I guess we'll get into the pistols and such. First, we'll crack open these two pistol cases. Whenever there was two airsoft pistols, 
in the auction, they would just charge you double whatever the bid was. So you're not bidding one price for the whole lot. You're bidding one price for one gun, and then they just double it for the second one. So this first one, one auction, two pistols. This one is the Homeland Defender. This is the one I initially wanted. I used to have this pistol back in the day. Got it from Shorty USA. This is a full metal CO2 blowback. It's actually pretty heavy, surprisingly, and it's called the Homeland Defender. I used to have a couple of these back in the day. They shoot really nice, surprisingly. And I thought it was two of the same, but this ended up being a Walther trademarked spring pistol. And I think the bid per gun was like $35. So I, I overspent on this spring pistol. This is worth more than $35. I got this CO2 pistol that I really wanted and got a bonus Springer. This is an old one though. It's a very old Springer. It's got the Walther trademarks and it did come with this metal hard case. Not a bad deal for me. And now the next one, you can see this case has WE. It's got WE on it. WE. We have these two little beauties. One is chrome and one is all black, all full metal. Two WeTech Lugers. I used to have one of these and I think I sold it. I hate doing that. When you get a nice one and then you sell it and then you're like, I shouldn't have sold that. But now I have one of each. So these are some pretty serious WeTech pistols. I think it was $32 a piece. So it was like 65 total on both of these. And I think that was a great deal. And again, it came with the hard case that says we right on it. Now that's not the original packaging for those pistols because those pistols came in this box with like this cloth and the gun sat down inside. It looked really nice. I wish I had that packaging, but this hard case is pretty cool. This KJW Mark I pistol. One of the problems with this auction was the website didn't have a description listed. They didn't have any of the brands. They didn't have great pictures. So it was kind of a, a gamble at what I was bidding on. They didn't really say if it was BB gun, airsoft gun. They didn't say what caliber, if it was eight millimeter, six millimeter, 177. So I was just kind of going by looks. But back in the day, I had the sniper version of this pistol, which actually had a long barrel and a stock, but used the same mags, and it shot really hot, like 600 FPS if you use a certain gas. Back then it was called red gas. I know these days we have black gas. But I saw this, it was just a picture and it said BB gun, but I knew that this was not a BB gun, and nobody was bidding on it, so I got this one for like $14. The mag release was always a pain in the butt because it's on the bottom and you have to hit this little lever and then pull the mag out. This is definitely a KJW Mark I mag. I just found out that it still has gas on it. I didn't put any gas in this. From what I could tell that this collection had been sitting for like four or five years. So for it to still have gas, that is a testament to the quality of this piece. The, the mag is still holding gas. I could probably put a BB in it and shoot it right now. This one was like $14, $15. Very good win. Next, I guess we have to get into the final box. It's big. It's going to take us a while to get through everything. Here we go. Ooh. This is, we went through five pistols here, so there is 15 more. I'm just going to pull them out randomly and see what we got. So first I see this I bid on this just for nostalgia's sake. It might have been full retail, but this is the Galaxy Colt. It's essentially a Colt 25, but it's full metal and it's a spring pistol. I had one of these years and years and years ago, and it was my like Lil Wrath, but V1. I would get kills with it. It was great, but I lost it, and I was heartbroken at the time, and I didn't know where I lost it. I got into the hobby of metal detecting for a while. I was metal detecting the airsoft field along the creek, and something rang and I dug into the mud and pulled it up and it was my pistol. And I cleaned it off and it still shot. It had BBs in the mag, I racked it, and it still worked after maybe a year or two of being buried in mud. And you saw that one in my collection video. I lost this outside uh, next to the creek in the woods for like a year and it still works. That's a badass gun. Yeah, so this is a brand new model of that exact one and it was about $15. It's brand new. It's never been used. It's still got the original little package of BB bullet is what they call it. Yes, the BB bullet. And this is a full metal Galaxy Colt Springer. Ooh, it sounds good. 
That's exactly how I remember. So now I got a little twin to go with my mud covered fun little experiment. I don't use that one anymore. It's a good piece for the collection. This is a Cybergun 100th anniversary Colt 1911. So this was released in 2011. So the cool thing about most of these is the guy was such a diligent collector that he has little notes on all of the pistols and it says won't hold gas overnight and then it's erased a little bit and says yes it does so i guess he fixed whatever the problem was i'll have to test it and find out but these mags the co2 mags are notorious for leaking this is essentially a brand new pistol from 2011 and it's full weight listen to this listen to that that's incredibly loud they made this one to replicate a real steel 1911 because of the 100th anniversary it is a single stack co2 mag it's a very solid piece and i was pretty happy to win this one it comes with the bb bullets from cybergun for this one i spent 45 dollars and i'm valuing this one at like probably more than double this one's probably more like 120 it is the anniversary edition it is solid it is brand new it doesn't even look like the mag's been used all that much because you can usually tell if there's wear marks on the mag or wear marks on the inside of the mag well and there's not really anything it does have all the trademarks on it it says kwc so this was a kwc cyber gun i'm gonna put that away and we got to get to a few more we got a lot to look at maybe we'll do some in depth on a few of these whatever ones you guys like let me know in the comments we'll go in depth on that one i can't do them all right away because that's 20 videos but maybe we can do a couple per video elite force 1911 this is probably the most popular airsoft sidearm currently in the market this is one of the most reliable and most of the time people go for the tack but this is the government model 1911 same as the cybergun very solid elite force 1911 blacked out version so instead of the fake wood hand grips they're all black everything's all black except for the barrel is silver chrome i really want to test this one out too because this is an extremely popular sidearm i value this at like probably 180 to 100 usually if they're used they don't fetch as much but this one's barely used again there's on the mag there's like no wear marks on the mag or in the mag well and with a gas pistol, you can usually tell. And for this 1911, it was 47.50. I think that's like half, half of what it would go for if I put it on eBay. TSD Tactical Caspian. It is the government issue WeTech TSD Tactical Caspian. It's a little more tactical, skeleton trigger. Uh, it's got a little bit of a rail here on the bottom too. It's, the mag's tough, it's stuck in there. It doesn't have a lot of wear on it either. You can see there's hardly any wear. That's why it's probably stuck in there. Now it does have BBs in it. So somebody had fun testing this one out. Maybe he was one of those guys that got the airsoft gun, loaded up the mag, put some gas in it, gave it some shots and then put it away forever. Like I said, the Wetex usually come in this nice box with this like blanket for your pistol to sit on. It's a nice presentation. It really means something when you open up the box and you feel like it's an experience, like you're being treated to this pistol purchase. So for this Caspian 1911, it was $35. That's incredible. I really thought it would be higher than that. Let's get away from the government issue looking 1911s and do something different. We, Baby High Kappa 3.8. Now I've got a few of these in my collection already, but how are you gonna pass on a We High Kappa? Everybody loves the High Kappas. It says 45 ACP Cal right there on the side. High Kappa Baby 3.8. Green Gas. And again, there are hardly any wear marks on the mag at all. The pistol itself has some wear marks, like it's it's been bounced around a little bit around the rail. These are usually very sought after. Surprisingly, I got this one for $46. Uh, I thought it would go double that because people love their high kappas. So let's check another one. KJW GBB 617. This is another example of the cool notes he left magazine leaks it's got the kjw bbs in there now i wasn't as concerned about the mag leaking on this one because i have this pistol in my collection and i have a couple of these mags so if this mag truly does leak i can just swap mags but the pistol itself is full metal and it's got the really cool grips i guess since it said in the picture magazine leaks people were scared of this one this airsoft pistol only cost me $12.50. So it was a bargain, I could say. So for 12 bucks, uh, yeah. KJW, full metal, M9. It's called the Trajectory Adjustable on this little sticker here. That means hop up. Trajectory Adjustable is just a fancy way of saying hop up. And it says new version. I don't know what's new about it, but let's find out. Tactical rubberized grip that wraps all the way around. And it does include, which is very interesting here, 
a set of standard M9 handguards that are brand new from KJW. I don't know if that came with the pistol itself or if he had to buy that and left it in there separately. And it's got a little thing of BB bullet. I don't know what this means. It has a cardboard thing that says extreme. So I'm guessing this pistol is extreme. So that is a full metal M9. This Beretta was $35. So again, we're just like at half of what I think it would sell for online, if not more. I guess I should show you something really cool. How about this? Ugh, the one everybody likes. EMG STI Terran Tactical Combat Master John Wick's pistol. It's like brand new. Like this is all in plastic. There's no wear marks on this at all. It is CO2, extended mag release. You barely have to touch it. Skeleton trigger. Look at the flare magwell. Can't miss that. We got bronze barrel. Night sights on it. Terran Tactical Innovations Combat Master Trades. This is a nice piece. I didn't have this one. I have the JAG version. I got that on an Airsoft GI mystery box, which was a great win. Combat Master, Terran Tactical. Something John Wick would definitely use. Crap. Something John Wick would definitely use. Just be like, mm, mm, mm. This was like one of the ones I had to have out of these auctions. People definitely fought me on this one. I ended up having to pay $117, but if I wanted to buy this exact pistol, just like this on Evic, it would be about 210. I think I, I came out ahead because this is brand new. I, it doesn't look like it's been fired. It was still wrapped up in the plastic when I opened it. Definitely a win. We're gonna go in depth on this one more and put it up against the JAG Combat Master and see which one comes out on top. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for that because it'll be coming in the future and you don't want to miss it. KWA PTP Beretta M9. I love this box. I've always enjoyed the look of a KWA box. You know something awesome is going to be inside a KWA box and you see this huge KWA logo. PTP Professional Training Pistol. That means it feels real. Everything about this is meant to mimic the real steel version. Except it no shooty real bullets. It's just built like a tank. Got the KWA M9 PTP right there on the slide. Cal 6mm. Now that was a good way of telling in these auctions if I was looking at an airsoft gun or BB gun because a lot of brands make BB guns and airsoft guns in the same model and you just got to pay attention to what the caliber is and if it says 6mm Cal right there you know you're getting an airsoft gun. If it says 177 you're probably getting a BB gun. Check this out. That's the kind of quality you're going to get from a PTP from KWA. In there, we've got a KWA sticker. Like I said, can't commit to stickers. Don't know where to put them. I don't have a patch room full of stickers. There's a little lube bottle and a tiny bag of BB bullet. I only spent a total of $47.50. I still think that's about half of what I could get if I sold it. I tried to stick to about that for my budget, like half of what I thought it was actually worth on the secondary market. For $47.50, yeah, I like it. Now we're getting into the really fun stuff. The box that just says 34. What could be a 34? Could it be a Glock 34? That is indeed what this is. KSC Glock 34. Now, this is very old school looks a little longer than a normal Glock but one of the problems with this one the top of the mag was broken off and it looks like someone tried to fix it it is definitely a broken mag oh look at that I spoke too soon the mag is broken there's a packing slip inside this and under it was this brand new lip and it's from Evic and it says one enhanced spare magazine lip for the KSC Glock 34 series airsoft gas blowback and the date on this packing slip is Tuesday, February 18th, 2014. So in the auction, they didn't make note that it comes with the replacement part because I'm pretty sure the auction site handling it knows nothing about airsoft. Now this part probably costs like five or eight bucks back then. So we could replace this like right away. All I gotta do is knock a pin out, take it out, put the new one in, pin back in. We'll have a good mag. It saves me a lot of hassle of digging through my mags or going online and trying to find a replacement Glock mag from all those years ago. Most of this gun is plastic but for the longest time they didn't even make airsoft glocks i know now they make a ton but to have an old school airsoft glock 34 which is something you don't see every day you see a lot of glock 18s 17s but you don't see 34 i don't know the last time i saw a 34 i think this was a huge win because i only spent 24 dollars and 50 cents because people were afraid to bid on a gun with a broken mag and it turns out it's not I can just fix it. So you gotta use your mind and look at stuff. Use your Blue's Clues intuition. So that's the Glock 34, the first Glock. 
I don't know why, but on the box it says mini PB&J. That's not what's inside it. There's no Uncrustables in this. This is a Wii CQB Master. Now there's nothing extra in this box, but the extras are on the pistol itself. It's got the rail mount on the top, the red dot sight on top. It's got night sights. It's got rails for days, flared magwell, skeleton trigger, the half slide. You can see underneath the rail. Now, we does make a great high kappa. I know I said that earlier with the baby high kappa, but this one is insane. Rail's all metal. The gun is mostly all metal. I think every part on it except for the grip is metal. So there were no extras in the box. There's no speed loaders or BB bullets. The extras are all right here. It does have a little protector for the glass. For this high kappa, which high kappa already stands for expensive, I'm pretty sure that's what it means. And it's got the red dot, it's got the rail system already mounted on it. I only spent $55.99, so I guess other people didn't want it as bad as me. This setup alone is probably worth $150 because it's just so clean looking. Actually, when I was there, and I wasn't really allowed to record in the storage locker that I was picking things up from, but the guy who was giving me all the pistols, he made note of this one. He said, this is the coolest one he thought out of everything I purchased and he wanted it for himself and almost bought it before the auction went live so I'm glad he didn't because now I have it another thing the guy at the auction said was I bought more than anybody so that's the Wii CQB master all decked out never ending. <laughs> that's the way I like it this is my favorite one out of the entire auction for those of you that have watched this channel for some time you know I enjoy Marushin airsoft guns and this one is a Marushin X cartridge series Colt Peacemaker DX heavyweight model I've wanted one of these forever since I knew what Red Wolf was it used to be Red Wolf was the only place you could get a cool unique airsoft gun and you had to order it online hope customs didn't steal it then it would get here in like a month or two but here we go some BB bullets Colt single action army Peacemaker look at that that screams Wild West in the days before we had smoke wagons, the gambler, even haters, it was this. Attention to detail is crazy. It's loaded with some of those silver BBs that we found earlier that I definitely would not use in a game. It's like any other revolver. You just got shells, you load the shells. Like this, you just load the shell in there, close that, good to go. But it does have the Colt single action army written right on the barrel. It's got brass on the back it's got wood that's real wood too it's got a metal barrel metal cylinder i had to have this one i wasn't going to lose this auction that's for sure it's not the most expensive one that i got but it was 93.50 for a marushin that's half if not a third of what it should be if you put this on ebay it would probably go as high as 300 if people had to have it. The old school Marui, Marushin, Maruzen, Tanaka, KTW. That's the kind of stuff I like. The weird stuff that you don't see anymore. This is another one of my more favorite ones. CZ Shadow 2 by ASG. This is like the gun to have nowadays. If you don't have an Elite Force Tac, you probably have a CZ. You got the blue grip, full metal. It says CZ Shadow 2 right on the slide. ASG on the other side, Cal 6mm. That's how I knew it was an airsoft gun and not a BB gun. This is really heavy without the mag. Barrel is threaded if you want to put a suppressor or something on it. No wear to the slide whatsoever. No wear to the mag. The mag well is fresh. It looks like it was purchased and then just put away. It has some ASG BB bullets. I'm saying these are point twos. Now if I were to go on EVIC right now and get this, it would be $180. What I spent for this one, brand new, straight out of the box, probably never used. It's still got the sticker on the bottom. This was $63. That was an insane deal. This one would match the Cobalt Kinetics pretty well. Maybe that would be a nice loadout. This one says Glock. This is an Army Armament Glock. R17, so it's a Glock 17. Now, originally when I went to purchase this, it showed this right here. Magazine won't hold gas. I guess people weren't bidding on it because of that. Now, it is a Glock. Everyone wants Airsoft Glocks. They buy them up. I was like, dang. Should I bid on it if the mag won't hold gas? Will I be able to find a mag for this? But then I noticed at the bottom of the gun, what is that? That is the base plate of a mag. It's the extra mag that won't hold gas. So I bid on it and I got it. And then when I actually got it, found this. This is a little army armament box. And inside this box is a brand new unopened mag that has never even been used. It's still taped up in the foam. It also came with some super BB bullet. I don't know what makes them super, but it's a very smooth operation on it. It's got the Glock 17 Austria logo right there. Not Australia, Austria. This isn't a gel blaster. Shout out to everyone that watches in Australia. I love you guys. 
We'll get there eventually. We'll play gel blasters together. It's two-tone, metal slide, polymer lower. I had to have this. I almost didn't purchase it because of this. Won't hold gas, but I'm glad I did. With the three mags, the Super BB Bullet, it was $71. That's not bad for an Airsoft Glock. If I put it on Hop Up, I would probably get like 150 for this after someone haggles me down from like 200. Another thing uh, Alexis noted on the box, it's got all these stamps. It's got a customs declaration. There is airmail sticker and someone else's address from Hong Kong. So I, this came straight from Asia. I think that's interesting. It's got some cool stamps. So that's the second to last. Now we're gonna have to get into the best for last. That's what they say, right? This one is probably the best. All right, guys, here we go. It's a mystery for you. Buy a box. I've never had one of these. I've always heard everyone say how great they are. This is a Tokyo Marui Glock. Even Alexis was like, you have to get that Glock. And then when the auction ended, she was like, did you get the Glock? I was like, oh yeah. Now this is a Glock 26, which is a compact version. I don't have a gas blowback Glock 26. I do have a spring pistol Glock 26, which is unheard of these days. Also it's metal and we used that recently in an all spring pistol game. My friend Earl totally wrecked with it, but it was no match for Lil Rat because I shot him a whole bunch. Got him. How you doing Earl? You remember, right? Earl, leave a comment if you remember. Okay, so here we go. Unboxing the Tokyo Marui Glock 26. OG, Tokyo Marui manual. It smells like perfection. And you might ask why they have on the uh, box, the Glock logo is crossed out. Paperwork, the Glock logo is crossed out. That's because way back in the day, there was some import issues with Glock and Toki Marui. In order to import them to the United States, they had to pretty much destroy the logo off of any part. And that wasn't just for Glock. That was SIG. That was any name brand that would have been trademarked onto an airsoft gun back then. I have several Tokyo Marui airsoft guns with the trademarks burned off by a wood burning kit or something. They would just melt the plastic on the side. That's why they crossed out Glock. You can still read it. When I saw this, there was no logo on the auction, but I zoomed in real close on the picture and saw the classic blue and white Marui oval, and I knew that I had to get this. It has got clear plastic container of BB bullet as if this were a museum and they were behind glass. This is Marui BB bullets, people. You respect the Marui BB bullets. If you get hit by this, you have to quit forever. You don't just call out. You call out, you go home, and you think about what you did. This is the Glock 26. It still has trades on it. Um, we're gonna get a close up, but Glock logo is still on the slide. And on the reverse side, it's on the slide. That's pretty impressive because they went to such great lengths to destroy any logos from actual firearms companies when shipping to the United States. So for this one to make it through with the logos intact and not scratched off, they used to take Dremels to the metal slides and Dremel them off. Got the mag here, it's a little baby. Look at the little tiny baby mag. I have tons of Marui airsoft guns, but never a Glock. And everyone always says, oh, you gotta get a Tokyo Marui Glock. They're the best pistol in the entire world. Saying something is the best is a matter of opinion. I could have a favorite best airsoft pistol and you could say it's crap. This is probably from a long time ago. There's no dates on anything. I would date some of these pistols from the collection to be as, even as old as 12 or 15 years. Some of them are more recent, all the way up to like maybe five years ago. We saw the one EVIC tag that was 2014, but we do know that the STI EMG Combat Master is a more recent pistol release because of the whole John Wick craze. So I put that at probably like three or four years ago. I don't exactly know when they came out. Since I had to have this, this one was a little more. This is the one I spent the most money on. This was just a personal purchase for me. So I did spend $152. I think that's just about what the secondary retail would be. Now, without factoring in gas to get there and pick it up, tolls, there was a 15% fee on the buyer for this auction website. So I had to pay 15% on top of every purchase. And then the jerks hit me with sales tax, which was like 80 bucks. I'm from Delaware and we don't speak sales tax. All right, I don't know if you guys know this, but in the great state of Delaware, which actually exists, we don't have sales tax. If I go to the store and buy something for $10, it's $10. Since I was buying it in Virginia, I had to pay the sales tax. So a grand total for everything you see here, all three boxes, 20 airsoft pistols, whole bunch of ammo, scopes, 
so much CO2, it was $1,452. And I'd round up to $1,500 because gas and tolls to get there, pretty sure I spent that extra 50 bucks. So $1,500 for an epic airsoft gas pistol collection. I think there was two springers in the whole bunch. The rest were gas and CO2 blowback. Some of them aren't made anymore. Some of them are extremely rare, extremely expensive. I think we came out ahead. If I sold everything, I could probably double my money, but that doesn't mean I want to sell everything. It doesn't mean I want to sell anything. I think these are going to find a nice place in a display case in the airsoft gun collection room that I'm going to be working on. I'd like to thank you guys again for sticking with me through this whole really long video of me opening and unboxing a bunch of relics from the past of airsoft history. It means a lot that you guys watch this. I just, I pretty much do it for you. I mean, I'm not sponsored by anybody and I just spend my own money, even if Alexis doesn't like it, on some stuff that I probably shouldn't, just so you guys can see some really, really cool airsoft guns. Don't forget to like it if I made you laugh because that's the whole goal and I'm gonna do it again. Every one of you, I consider a teammate. I know Rev got canceled, but I'm going to see you guys soon. I'm gonna go to an op. I don't know which one. We just gotta get through this Rona stuff and we'll go to an op together. And you guys can say, what's up? I've got patches to give out. So if I see you at an op, I five for a patch or there'll be a secret password. I just haven't figured it out yet. And uh, if you liked what you watched, consider subscribing because I do this all the time. I upload twice a week, if not more. Usually Wednesday mornings and Sunday mornings, but sometimes you guys get a bonus video on Friday. Notification Gang knows that. Don't forget to hashtag me, Syrup Gun Gang. Find me on Instagram and all that fun stuff. I'm also on Facebook. And again, thanks to Hop Up for the really cool shirt and all the really cool stickers. I don't know if you guys really got to see it, but I'm gonna get in real close. And gonna boop.